Tonight's top story seven months into the pandemic and the Illinois Department of Employment Security still having some huge problems getting benefits to some citizens. News Channel 20's Matt Roy joins us now with what the governor is saying the issue is. Matt. Stacey, Governor Pritzker has continuously shifted the blame when it comes to the problems with IDES. He says for years the department has been hollowed out and underfunded under previous administrations. But after passing the largest budget in state history this year, some aren't buying that excuse. Governor J.B. Pritzker acknowledges that there are still issues with IDES. However, he says the problems lie at the feet of other administrations. Well, IDES was underfunded for many years. People just didn't never thought, frankly, that we would ever reach or go beyond where we were in 2010 and the need, 2009, 2010, the need to respond to people. UIS political science professor Kent Redfield says the governor's right. During the budget crisis, there were a lot of departments that suffered major losses. We were cutting back in terms of personnel, not hiring people, and so all of state government you know, suffered during that period. Deputy Republican leader Dan Brady says no matter who is pointing the finger at whom, the coronavirus has exposed issues IDES has always had. It was a perfect storm. You had an agency, in my opinion, that willfully understaffed. Technology-wise was not where it should be, but uh, an attempt to change that in the last couple of years prior to COVID wasn't a priority of state government as well. But some lawmakers aren't buying the governor's reasoning. Republican Mike Murphy says with two years and the two largest budgets in Illinois state history under Pritzker's belt, he's had plenty of time to fix the department's issues. It's getting a little uh, long in his tenure to continue to blame previous administrations. Now, Murphy also says that nobody could have foreseen this pandemic coming, but the issues that IDES has always had are finally coming back to bite us. Now, I did try and reach out to IDES, the governor's office, and numerous Democratic representatives as well, but none of them got back to us at this time. In Springfield, I'm Matt Roy. Stacy, John, back to you. Thank you, Matt. This is a developing story. We will keep you updated as more information becomes available.